When I open my laptop, I wanna do one thing, get stuff done. You know what makes that hard? This and this. Yeah, I'm partially at fault. I have an app opening problem and I'm a website tab hoarder. But last week, I decided to upgrade my two-year-old MacBook Air to Apple's latest Mac OS X El Capitan. And I've noticed an improvement to my computer speed and mine. See, look how fast I can count to 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, no, you won't experience any crazy side effects like that. But what you can expect is a real productivity increase from the free upgrade coming on September 30th. Hold up, Apple's new software is gonna make my computer faster? it usually makes it slower. I was skeptical too, but the results, they speak for themselves. Apple's Photos app launched two times faster, opening 20 photos in the preview app was two times faster, and even opening Word was a half a second faster. Jumping between apps also felt noticeably quicker, though I couldn't time that in my usual stopwatch tests. Overall, my Air just felt speedier, and it didn't take a hit on battery life either. I can't promise zero slowdowns. If your computer's still limping along, it could be that you're low on storage or RAM or a handful of other things. But when you do experience those slowdowns, at least there's this pretty new spinning rainbow ball to look at. Those speed increases will save some time, but the new multitasking tricks, those have made the real difference in my day to day. Hold down on the green circle and drag the window to one side of the screen and you can put another app side by side. Apple took this one straight out of Microsoft's playbook and the way Windows implements it is still easier. Speaking of, now Mission Control, instead of grouping windows by app, shows you all of your open windows spread out. And the new bar along the top tells you what apps are on what screens. Plus, if you lose track of your cursor in all that mess, just shake it and it gets bigger. The cursors are coming for us. Okay, yes, this is kind of ridiculous, but the trick is really useful. There was one thing that also sped up my use in the last week. I decided to do the unthinkable use Safari instead of Chrome. Chrome has always been a serious resource hog on a Mac, but Safari hasn't been worth using because it lacked features. Not anymore. You can now pin sites and mute noisy pages right from the tabs. Plus, the new Spotlight lets you search the web and your Mac in natural language. It's helpful, but it could be smarter. And Siri, she's still MIA. That leaves a gaping hole compared to Cortana on Windows 10. It's currently 82 and raining. Still, I'll excuse some of the missing features this year, because if you're getting stuff done and staying clear of this guy, how much do the bells and whistles really matter?